Please be seated. I call upon Canon Manley to welcome us to the cathedral. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, awardees, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my privilege today to welcome you on behalf of the Dean and Chapter to Carlisle Cathedral. And we're a friendly lot here in Cumbria, so before I give the official welcome, would you mind welcoming each other? Simply shake the hand of the people next to you and say, I've no idea who you are. This place is amazing, not just because of its architecture and beauty, but because it tells the story of what it means to live in community and relationship for nearly 900 years. For centuries, people here have worked hard to welcome the traveler, support the local people, build community, and try and understand what it means to be fully human while seeking the face of God. And whether you are of this faith, another faith, or no faith at all, we'd be delighted if you chose this cathedral as one of your places of peace and sanctuary in a noisy world. So do please pop back some time and have a good look around. Graduands, well done. What you have achieved was not easy and what you will achieve will be amazing. I personally am always challenged by those words of Martin Luther King, who said something like, if you've never found something you're willing to die for, then you haven't really lived. Please keep your passion to follow your dream and change this world. But please make sure that that passion is based on real truth and not hijacked by popularist propaganda. For only the truth will bring lasting change, and only the truth will set you and others free. Well done, God bless, and welcome everybody. To open our ceremony, I'm delighted to introduce Voters UOC.
I would like to introduce the Deus Party today. The Chancellor, the Most Reverend and Right Honourable Dr John Centerboo, Lord Archbishop of York. Vice-Chancellor Professor Julie Menel. Chair of the Board of Directors, Mr Geoffrey Donnelly. And Chief Operating Officer and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Mr David Chesser. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to open our degree and award ceremony and deliver the opening address. Wow, that was a great start, wasn't this? Weren't they fantastic, Vauchies, you or C? I have to admit that I was sitting there feeling a bit of a fraud with all my finery on and my box with a speech in and so on. Behind our students who's standing there without anything, no script, no prompt and so on, and performing so exceptionally well, just gives us a flavour of the talent that we have across our university. I declare open this degree and award ceremony of the University of Cumbria. Chancellor, Lord Lieutenant, graduands, Canon of the Cathedral, Chair of the Board, past Chair of the Board, Honorary Fellows, guests, staff, university partners, friends, welcome to our 2019 Autumn Graduation Ceremonies. Today is a very special day, and it's your day. We feel privileged to have a very small part of it. It's a day to celebrate and a day to pause and reflect on your journey. The challenges you've faced and overcome, the skills and confidence you've gained, the friendships you've made, and to thank all those who've helped you to get to where you are today. Many here, bursting with pride and admiration to celebrate your success and to celebrate you. <laughs> we all need support and encouragement to achieve our potential, the goals we set, to be our best self. And I'm sure you've been helped and are continuously helped by many and in many different ways. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank staff across our university here, making up the academic platform, behind the scenes, across our campuses, and those staff that are here with us as guests today who've been nominated by their line managers as members of the staff who exemplify our university values. Thank you to you all. You are and you make our university. A university which has tremendous impact to place, communities and practice. And we couldn't do it without you. It's been a really good year for the University of Cumbria with many successes. We've been ranked 28th out of over 130 universities in the student-informed What You Need survey. We recently launched our new institutes of health and business industry and leadership, focused on addressing the current and future needs of these sectors here in the region and beyond. Our new Institute of Health aims to tackle the ongoing staffing crisis in the NHS with a dual purpose of recruiting more new staff in Cumbria, upskilling and retaining the current workforce and growing new recruits. Within our Institute of Arts, there's been much to celebrate and much that our graduates have been involved in. Brampton Road Campus played host to the BBC North East and Cumbria Children in Need campaign, coming live from Brampton Road Campus, with our students getting real life experience in front and behind of camera. The Stanix Theatre played host to BBC Radio 4 with Any Questions and Gardener's Question Time. Following the London and Manchester Agents Showcase and successful self-promoting of students, many performing arts graduates have been signed by professional agents. 
Our dance therapy sessions for stroke patients are leading the way in holistic, multidisciplinary practice. And our performing arts students have developed a range of innovative and exciting productions, from intimate dance productions to more ambi ambitious, such as Spamalot and Into the Woods. In our Institute of Business, Industry and Leadership, we have made significant progress in broadening and deepening our work with industrial partners through the continued development of the Project Academy for Sellafield, who we welcome, our work with BAE and Rolls-Royce, and also a range of other employers in this region. We successfully launched the new Level 6 Project Manager degree apprenticeship in Carlisle, Barrow and Derby as one of the first universities to offer this award. And we've also further developed our capacity to support the delivery of University of Cumbria degrees in engineering and allied areas through strengthening our relationships with our partner education providers. In our medical and sports sciences area, the ultrasound and MRI students graduating today will play a critical role in delivering the NHS targets in cancer diagnosis and treatment and at a time of chronic staff shortages in the NHS. And we are proud that we have recently won £400,000 of funding from Health Education England to set up a regional ultrasound academy, recognising the expertise and standing of our staff. As Vice-Chancellor, I talk quite rightly about the role of our university, why we're established and the impact we have on individuals, communities and economy. Here in Cumbria, we face many challenges, not least low productivity, a declining working age population and a significant higher level skills gap. In response to these challenges, we work continuously with employers, city and county stakeholders, as well as honorary fellows and university supporters, to ensure that we have impact. This includes our ambition as part of the Borderlands Growth Deal for a new city centre campus here in Carlisle. Our work in Barrow to address higher skills needs the development of our Ambleside campus and our offer and relevance to the rural and visitor economies, the expansion of provision at our London campus to support health, education and business, and more recently, our collaboration with Lancaster University, which will enable each university to extend regional role and impact. We need a university in Cumbria and our region. But our university isn't about buildings, it's people. It's our staff, our students, our supporters, our partners, and most importantly, you, our graduates. And you are incredible. What you've achieved to date and what you will go on to achieve and the impact you'll have. As artists and creatives, you will help to shape communities and culture, bringing a sense of connection to our communities and inspiring individuals as well as generations to come. Your work will have the potential to provoke discussion and have a positive impact on others. As project managers and engineers, you will enable us to think and deliver big whether large-scale industrial operations, infrastructure projects, or dealing with the challenges of nuclear decommissioning. As allied health practitioners, you will diagnose our medical conditions, support us on the path to recovery, keeping us physically and mentally well, impacting on us individually, as well as our families and economy. Every one in this cathedral will have an experience in their life where practitioners like you have helped them, a family member or friend, and they'll know the difference that that has made. You're about to graduate. You have standing with your peers and in your communities. 
You have the talent to do great things. Many of you already are. And remember, it won't come or continue without challenge. Remain confident and ambitious about yourself and your potential. Be resilient and stay true to your values base. There will be times when you feel the odds are stacked against you. You will experience failure and disappointment. But it's how you deal with this and are seen to deal with it which will keep you on a path for self-fulfillment as well as inevitable success. And importantly, work to live. Don't live to work. Enjoy your life, family and friends. Take care of your mental as well as physical health and take stock every now and again to reflect on your development and progress. Whilst it is natural, we look forward to what's on the horizon, to the challenges as well as the opportunities we face. Take time to remind yourself of the considerable path you've already tread, not least today. And when you walk across to meet our Chancellor shortly, make the absolute most of your moment, reminding yourself how fabulous you already are and what's still to come in spades. Thank you. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, honored guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great joy and pride that I stand before you as Chancellor of this wonderful university. We are an ambitious community with many friends who provide support to us in achieving our academic, research, and enterprising endeavors. I'm delighted to be part of this most welcoming community of learning. Firstly, a warm congratulations to our graduates and award winners, we're very proud of you, and you too should feel great pride in what you have achieved and why you're here today. To the parents, families, and friends of our graduating students, thank you and congratulations. You should know that your support has given them an uplift. I'm sure you are very proud of your graduates as they close this chapter and prepare to take the next step towards a promising future. As Chancellor of this university, I believe that graduation is one of those steps in life that actually moves us on from one stage to another, becoming a leader, a doer, and indeed an achiever of great things in our global village. While some of you may have firm ideas and good ideas of what's coming next, others may not be so sure and some of you may just be relieved to have made it to graduation day. One thing is certain, you hold the key to your future in your own hands, as long as you have the resolve and resilience to get through. Studying with us has not only developed you academically, but also practically. It has taught you to learn, to think critically, to apply this learning and to adapt to change. With every step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled, more and more self-confident, and more and more successful. Our complex global village today demands of us an education and skills that must provide the answer for today. So you need the vision to see, the faith to believe, and the courage to do, and I urge you to seize this opportunity be passionate for success, and be determined to make an impact in whatever you do. I'm sure that graduation will not, I hope, signal the end of your ties with this wonderful, welcoming university. Through your membership of our alumni association, we look forward to keeping in touch, and that you will look back on your time at this University of Cambria with great affection as a rich and rewarding experience. In due course, you too will make a difference. 
So your stories of success and adventures will help to inspire and motivate the next generation of students. So please do share them with us. To all the graduates whose success we celebrate today, I say, success is not only measured in monetary gain and reward. Far more important is that we give more of ourselves and make a wider contribution to society. There is always the common good we must serve. There is always someone who needs our help. And please remember also, there are three things in human life that are important. Three important things in our human life. The first is kindness. The second is kindness. And the third is kindness. Because I'm convinced that in life we are loved abundantly for our love, our care, our compassion for others. So take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. You have learned a variety of skills beyond your degree that will enable you to excel in whatever you decide to do. May your years ahead continue to be characterized by gracious magnanimity, empathy, kindness, understanding, reflection, mutual respect, and a willingness to take risks. I have been privileged to have been chancellor since the inception of this university 12 years ago. And during that time, I have witnessed the institution flourish and strengthen its position in the region and beyond. I have seen a strong leadership team with ambition and commitment to ensuring the university's future is sustainable through its dynamic academic portfolio and indeed rich partnership with Cambria's region and beyond. I have seen thousands of talented graduates across this stage equipped with the knowledge and skills to go out and make a difference in the world. Some 33,000 have shaken their hands to graduate get into your graduation. And I was saying to the Vice Chancellor, I think my arm is beginning to suffer from <laughs> repetitive injury. So when I step down, you get a, ch um, a bill from me. <laughs> May you all be bold. Hmm? Be bold and use your voice. Be brave and listen to your heart. Be strong to live the life chances you've actually ever imagined. Raise your sights and see the possibilities, for they are indeed endless. Graduates, please take seriously this advice from the late Steve Jobs, uh, the real mind and brain behind this little thing we call the iPhone and the iPad. He's really the brain behind this. And listen to what he says. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Now that's a greatest inventor. Hmm? And I think he knows what he's talking about. There are two big thank yous which we must give before the awarding of degrees and awards. Now with the parents, friends, academic staff of the University of Cambria, if you are able, please stand. Will you please join me? Hey, you are not parents. You are not. Uh, some of some of you may be, but I don't mean you. You, you know. Come on. I mean the people in the main body, not people in the transepts. Oh, dear me. As the people in Yorkshire would say, by gum. Now, with the parents, friends, and lecturers and academic staff. Will you please join me in giving a humdinger clap of a 
congratulations to all our graduates. Thank you very much. Will you please sit? Now then, will all our graduates please stand? I want you to join me in giving a humdinger clap of thanks to your parents, your friends, and your academic tutors and professional services staff. I think you could do better than that. You could do better than that, okay? One more time. <laughs> this is the eighth ceremony we're having and I think you've been the best. You've definitely been the best. Um, and will you please sit? Now, when you come up and I've shaken your hand, please, please look ahead of you where there's some bright lights. That's where the photographer is. This is not a time of using your eyes look all over the place. No, look just in one direction. <laughs> Should you also turn out to be a runner, I'm going to hold on to your hand and won't let go until your photograph is taken. Just remember, I'm from Yorkshire, so I'll be like a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> Thank you very much, and God bless. I now call upon Michael Mitchell for the Institute of the Arts to present the graduates for their degrees and awards. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, I have the pleasure in confirming that the graduates here presented have satisfied the requirements for the degrees and awards of the University of Cumbria. The award of Master of Arts directing Jane Adams. I'm very keen. <laughs> I'm too slow, yes. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Acting, Matthew Montgomery Chambers. Tom Chandler. Rachel Head. Zara Heffernan. Charlie Lucas. Hannah Lucy Millington. Lauren Milner. <laughs> Catherine Louise Nicholson. <laughs> Ellis Robison. <laughs> Betsy Sweeney. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Dance, Millie Bailey.
Katie Donlan. Harriet Kershaw. Maya Lilly. For the award of Bachelor of Arts Dance and Musical Theatre, Lauren Jean Griffiths. Victoria Louise Malling. Stuart Simons. <laughs> Abigail Lauren Walton. <laughs> Danielle Jade Wright. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts, Drama and Musical Theatre, Emily Louise Aitkinson. <laughs> Isabel Acro. <laughs> Hannah Shan Carroll. The recipient of the Institute of the Arts Community Engagement Prize, Laura Devaney. <laughs> Laura Jane Halliwell. <laughs> Elizabeth Eileen Han. Jacob Daniel Hughes. Rory Kempsel. Peter Lim. Alicia Jane McMonagall. Ryan McQueen. <laughs> Liam Vartu. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Arts Musical Theatre, James John Belt. Holly Boynton Briggs. <laughs> Nicole Brady. <laughs> Lauren J. Crozier. <laughs> Jasmine Gamble Beresford. Rhiannon Mary Horn. Agnieszka Kachamariska. Louise Mary. Holly Adele Parkinson. <laughs> Luke Smith. <laughs> Chloe Taylor.
Alexander James Ty. <laughs> Molly Wilson. For the award of Bachelor Arts Performing Theatre, Jamie Baxter. <laughs> Laura Carlin. <laughs> Ellie Marie Dale. Paige Ellen Grindrod. <laughs> Callum Jordan Hussein. <laughs> Emily Margaret Hislop. Rhea Louise John. <laughs> Chloe Louise Jones. <laughs> Jaden Emmy Murray Ray Marbell. Jody Ann McGregor. Georgia Quinn. Patrick Michael Rogers. Poppy Rowan. <laughs> Catherine Selvey. <laughs> Carmen Tippett. Jordan Tones. <laughs> Savannah Young. <laughs> Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of these graduates. I now call, call upon Dr. Kate Dixon, Head of Student Recruitment and Portfolio Development for the Institute for Business, Industry and Leadership to present the graduates for, the degrees, for their degrees and awards. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor. I have pleasure in confirming that the graduates here presented have satisfied the requirements for the awards and degrees of the University of Cumbria. For the award of Bachelor of Science Project Management, Benjamin Allen. <laughs> Lois Joe Anderson. Christopher James Bicknell. Christine Bradley. Eleanor Chadwick. Kate Ellen Chorley.
Siobhan Elizabeth Gregan. Florence Helena Hamlin. Lewis James Horsley. Daniel Peter Jones. Laura Parker. Amy Louise Pullin. Anna Mary Robinson. Bethany Victoria Souter. Carly Marie Weir. <laughs> Becky Claire White. <laughs> Lewis White. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor. That concludes the presentation of these graduands. I now call upon Alison Hampson, Head of Teaching, Learning and Student Experience for the Institute of Health to present the graduands for their degrees and awards. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, I have pleasure in confirming that the graduands here presented have satisfied the requirements for the degrees and awards of the University of Cumbria. For the award of Master of Science Medical Imaging, Julie Ann Mawson. For the award of Master of Science Medical Imaging, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, Heather Marie Boylan. <laughs> Reese Allen Slough. For the award of Postgraduate Certificate Medical Imaging, Magnetic Residence, Resonance Imaging, Joanne Barrett. <laughs> Robin Cartwright. <laughs> Stuart Harwood. Grace M. Alton. For the award of Master of Science Medical Imaging Ultrasound, Amy Elizabeth Briggs. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma, Medical Imaging Ultrasound, Wendy Mary Jane Atherton. <laughs> Rachel Claire Manuel. <laughs> Emma Louise Sherwood. Maria Smith.
Kira Williams. For the award of Master of Science, Medical Ultrasound, Ivy Antonella Hyde. George Matthew Kington. <laughs> Stephanie Jane Sharp. <laughs> Rachel Williams. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of all graduates. I now invite Laquan Johnson from the Students' Union to give a vote of thanks on behalf of the students. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor. Hello. Thank you for having me here today. It is an honour to be here. My name is Laquan Johnson and I'm the Academic Officer at the University of Cumbria Students' Union. As an elected representative of this university, it is my pleasure to be here today to say congratulations to everyone. No matter your path to get here today, you did it, and that deserves a massive congratulations from us to you. Before I start today's speech of thanks, I'd like to voice my own personal thanks to the University of Cumbria. Sadly, this is, well, this graduation season will be my last as part of UOC and the UCSU. I've immensely enjoyed my time both as a student that studied at Brampton Road and an officer. I just wanted to take a moment and express how grateful I am to have the support of everyone I have worked with over the last few years. Thank you. It is unlikely that anyone sat here today made it on their own. So I just want to take another moment to extend thanks to those that helped you to get here today. Of course, we have to say thank you to our lecturers and teaching staff for imparting their knowledge and passion through their chosen field onto us. For those of you here who spent a lot of time on one of the university campuses, I'm sure you will join me in saying thank you to those who kept the place running around you, the people in the offices, those who ran workshops, fixed up the campus, or kept you fed, thank you. For many of you here today, enrolling in university will have been a massive departure from the known. Some will have left home for the first time. Others will have left careers or lives they have known for years. That may have been nearing the impossible without the support and help from friends and family. So we say thank you to them too. For those who made the move across country, across the world, from just down the road, you will have been welcomed into an entirely new community. One that accepted you into their schools, theatres, hospitals, business centres, and obviously into their bars and pubs. We thank them as well. Lastly, today, we thank the person that is sat beside you. Only those who spent this journey with you, no matter how long or short it was, they are the only people who truly understand the ups and the downs you have faced, because they were yours to face together. So, it's the advice from the great philosopher Christopher Robin to his childhood companion Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Today is not the end of your journey, only the start of the next chapter. So keep up the good work. Thank you.
Vice-Chancellor, I now call upon you to give a closing address. Actually, it's not quite the closing address, so make sure you continue to sit comfortably. Chancellor, as you and many of our honorary fellows, board directors, stakeholders, civic leaders know very well, not least of having been such positive advocates and architects for the formation of our university, the University of Cumbria. The university was established for a reason. Aspiration, attainment, population size, distribution, skills and productivity productivity providing a strong rationale. As I said earlier, Cumbria needs a university and as Cumbria's university, we need Cumbria. 12 years on, 33,000 students have graduated, entering into professions ranging from education, nursing and allied health, the arts, science, environment, business, law, policing, and that's just a few of them. Graduates who impact on individuals, place, communities, and economy. Graduates who bring life, shape lives, save lives. Graduates who support people at their most vulnerable, protect us, and risk their lives for others. Graduates who drive our businesses, industry, and economy. Graduates who care for and protect our environment and landscape and those who make their living from it. Graduates who entertain us, inspire us, stimulate our thinking and encourage us to explore new ideas. Graduates who inspire our children and future generations to achieve their potential, to aim high, to be confident and to succeed. And graduates who mark their success not by salary, job title or hours worked, but by the impact that they have on and for others and on our environment and planet. Chancellor, our university has had tremendous impact to date. And as we have heard earlier, our future and that of Cumbria looks very bright. This has not come without challenges and strong leadership, advocacy and support has been required throughout. Leadership to ensure we are confident and ambitious alongside resilient and determined. Advocacy to ensure our mission and impact is heard and understood. Support to ensure we are guided and encouraged to realise our potential. Chancellor, as our university's first and only chancellor to date, you have provided us with all three, along with so much more, and for 12 years. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and we feel proud and privileged to have you as our Chancellor. We know you are not leaving us yet. However, we know that this is the last of hundreds of University of Cumbria graduation ceremonies you've presided over during your tenure to date. So, Alongside our fantastic gradu graduates-to-be, we dedicate the next student performance to you. And whilst we feel sad of what will no longer be, we celebrate what has been achieved and what will be achieved with knowledge that you will remain an ever-constant supporter and friend of our magnificent University of Cumbria. And our song choice, and I hope I've got this right, otherwise it's going to go very wrong, our song choice is a significant one because it reinforces our role in empowering young people, those disadvantaged or those who are discriminated against, empowering them to shine and have their voice heard. Vochis, UOC, over to you.
across the world. Listen up, we're looking for recruits. If you're ready, let me see your hands. Stand up and salute. Get your killer heels. Sneakers, bumps, all lace up your boots. Representing all the women. Salute, salute. Ladies all across the world. Listen up, we're looking for recruits. If you're ready, let me see your hands. Stand up and salute. Get your killer heels. Sneakers, bumps, all lace up your boots. Representing all the women. Salute, salute. It's who we are. We don't need them. Camouflage. Just a female. Taking off. If you're with me, women, let me hear you say, ladies all across the world, listen up, we're looking for a quiz. If you're ready, let me see your hands. Stand up and salute. Get your killer heels, sneakers, bumps, all these up your boots. Representing all the women, salute, salute. Attention, salute. Attention, salute. Attention. Representing all the women, salute. Sisters, we are everywhere, warriors, you're cutting um, If you're ready, ladies, better get steady. Ready, aim, shoot. Don't need ammunition on a mission, and we'll hit you with the truth. Representing all the women, salute, salute. Sisters, we are everywhere, warriors, you're cutting um, If you're ready, ladies, better get steady. Ready, aim, shoot. Don't need ammunition on a mission, and we'll hit you with the truth. Representing all the women, salute, salute. It's who we are, we don't need them. Student Union, thank you for lovely message again. Thank you and all that you do um, to participate fully with the university and its work, its activities. And of course, the choir. Choir, thank you very much. <laughs> Will all our graduates please stand? Graduates, please stand. It's quite a quick transition, isn't it? From graduate to graduate, wonderful. I'm going to, before I give you your degrees, I'm going to say one word that you need to keep to yourselves. These words were said by Waldo Emerson. Don't go where the path may lead. Go where there is no path and leave a trail. Don't go where the path may lead. Go where there is no path and leave a trail. By my authority as Chancellor, I confer on these members of the University of Cambria the degrees and awards for which they have been presented. Warmest congratulations to you all from everyone in the university. Congratulations. Declare this ceremony closed. <laughs>